sounding 585,000 pounds, but climbs by four CFM 56 engines, generating 21,500 pounds of thrust each. And those engines are very, very common in the commercial airline world. They are the engines on the 757 airliner. So around the world, they always have access to engines that are common. In case you have an engine problem, look at the agility of this as he maneuvers the joystick, not the yoke. And for bad weather, they have what they call the HUD, H-U-D. It means heads up display to be able to give you the best chance of getting in when the visibility and ceilings aren't very low. Now, you always bring up a point, the wingtips. Yeah. All right, see the airplane now as it comes back around. You see it in there. Slow speed pass coming up. Now watch carefully as Danny describe what's happening with the wing. All right, now look at the trailing edge. Flaps are down. It looks like a Venetian blind. The leading edge flaps are down as well. Leading edge devices. That changes the curvature of the wing and allows complete controllability at very slow speeds. Why is that important? Because on unimproved strips around the world, shorter runways, maybe not even concrete or hard surface, you uh, have a slow approach speed. We have two sets of reversers on each engine. We have an anti-skid braking system, but you have a low approach speed. When they come back in the land, I'm going to guess that this wing is probably going to be a reference speed of 120 or thereabout. And as this aircraft goes by and it's doesn't burn out the tires, but as they approach and touch down, watch them as they open up, and then we will be able to hear the sound of the thrust reversers. There is the touchdown. The panels open up right there, and this is about as much noise as this airplane is ever going to make. on the left side of the left seat position.